What's up fishy people? This is Mark Lin and welcome back to my YouTube channel Home Aquatics Love Fishes Live with Fishes. As you guys read by the title of this video, in today's video I'll be talking about uh, how to prepare microbe culture. So before getting started, I would just like to tell the advantage of microbe culture. If you are someone like me who loves to breed guppies, live bearers or any other fishes, microbe culture is a great uh, live food for those fishes because uh, microbe cultures are small and uh, almost all the fishes love microbe culture. So now I'll go inside my kitchen and I'll show you guys uh, what are the things required for the uh, for you to guys to start the culture. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So yeah guys, I'm in my kitchen now. So these are the things which you required before you can actually start the culture. One is the initial culture here. So I have my initial culture here. You need two pieces of bread, a box in which uh, you can add the culture so I made a hole on the lid of this box so that air can pass and in order to cover this lid you need a cloth like this and to hold the cloth uh, you need a tape so the final product will look like this this bo uh, this lid is from my old box and not to forget the most important thing is uh, water from your aquarium so that the there is uh, liquid in the solution so what you need to do is that you need to add only the white part and not the brown part so yeah guys now i'll show how i actually prepare the culture yeah guys as i already told you that you only need the white part so now i'm removing the brown part from the bread so for this culture the only main thing required is the middle part of the bread that is the white part so i finished removing the brown part from one of the breads so now it's the time for the second bread so i'll fast forward this uh, part and uh, meet you guys after removing the brown part so yeah guys as you can see that I finished removing the brown part so now what I'll do is that uh, I nicely powdered the bread because uh, to while putting the bread inside the culture you need to nicely powder it up so it will take some time to powder the bread nicely but make sure that you are powdering the bread nicely so after this what you need to do is that uh, keep the container ready so take the container and put the uh, powdered bread inside the container Make sure that uh, you don't drop any of the breadcrumbs, but uh, everything put it nicely inside the container. So as you can see guys, I already finished putting the powdered bread inside the container. So now what I'll do is that uh, I'll take some water from the aquarium and then I'll add it into the culture and I'll just uh, mix it up. Make sure that you are nicely mixing it up and there's enough water inside the culture because uh, it's very important for the microworms uh, to be alive. To have sufficient uh, solution uh, in the culture so i added up more water just to make the solution a uh, little more uh, liquid type so yeah guys now what i'm doing is that uh, i am nicely mixing it up and uh, all the excess of bread and all which is uh, stuck in the side i'm just uh, making sure that uh, there's no excess bread and it's all at the bottom so yeah this is the last time and now what you need to do is that uh, you need to take the liquid from the previous solution and add it to the new culture and nicely spread it up. Normally I would add a 2 or 3 spoon uh, per new culture depending on the size of the box in which I am preparing it. Uh, but in today's video I will be adding 4 spoons uh, just because I want this culture to grow as fast as possible so that I can feed it to my uh, fishes. So uh, take the scoop and add it into your new container and nicely mix it up on the surface even if you don't mix it up uh, eventually the worms will spread but uh, i just uh, love to mix it up so now i'm just mixing it up nicely and yeah i finished mixing it up so now what i'll do is uh, i'll take the spoon and keep it in the side and now what i'll do is uh, i'll take the cap of the container and close it off and now i'll show you how to actually close the top of the container using a cloth so as you can see i already have a cloth ready so i'll take my scissor and i'll uh, cut the cloth so i'll fast forward this part and show you guys how it actually looks so yeah guys as you can see that uh, i finished uh, cutting the cloth and now i'm uh, putting the tape so i'll be adding four tapes uh, the reason i'm doing uh, this and adding a cloth on the top of the cap uh, which most of you might uh, want to know is because uh, they the worms are uh, present in the culture they need oxygen to breathe right so i am putting the cloth because uh, 
to allow the oxygen to pass into the hole which is present in the box uh, you people might have the question regarding Maclean why not just leave it open the reason I'm not leaving it open because uh, other uh, flies or insect might go in and they might spoil the culture so yeah guys this is how the culture will look finally so yeah guys after that what you need to do is that the culture which you have prepared right you need to take that and keep it in a dark place for at least like three to four days so after that what will happen is that uh, when you take out that culture from the dark place you'll see the worms coming up and you just need to scoop that worms and just put it in an aquarium you can use a paint brush to scoop or what i personally do is that uh, I take my finger, just take the cultures from the side and just put it in the aquarium. So yeah guys, that is all for this week's video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you love this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be putting out very amazing content in the nearby future. Until then, happy fish keeping. Bye-bye.